Hello and welcome to Color Up. Do you think you can roll at least twice before the seven appears? Well, if so, I have the perfect strategy for you. You'll win $25 on each of the first two rolls. After that, you'll have recouped all your money, you'll have a profit, and you'll be in a great position for a big win. Let's check it out. I need to thank my friend Brian over at the YouTube channel Hawaii Crap Shooters. Not only did he give me some of his sweet dice that I'll use today, but he gave me the strategy which he likes to call the quarter pounder with ease. So let's explain how it works and you'll see exactly why he calls it just that. Now this is going to take a $165 investment, a little steep for a low roller, but you only need to roll the dice twice to recoup your money and have a profit. So basically you start off with an iron cross. We're going to put $60 each on the six and eight. We're gonna do $35 in the field. And instead of playing $50 on the five, we're gonna do it a little cheaper. We're gonna hop the fives for $10. So you cover each combination with $5 each. This will cover the two three and the three two. This will cover the four one and the one four. Now, usually almost all casinos will take hop bets. Even if they're not printed on the layout, they'll still take them usually. So we're gonna hop the fives, all the combinations for $10. So why is Brian called the quarter pounder with easy? Well, if you roll the six or the eight, you're gonna lose your field and lose your hot bet, and you're gonna get paid $70. You'll go back in the field for 35, you'll cover your $10 in hops, and guess what? Quarter, there's your quarter pounder, and it's easy, right? So you've now racked $25. Now, if the five rolls, you're gonna lose your field, and you're gonna lose one of your hop bets. So let's say we lost this one. Now, depending on your table, it's gonna pay 15 to one, or which would look like this. It would be $75 to your $5, or it would be 15 for one, which my table says here. So $75 for the $5. Let me make some quick change here. And we have our $35 back in the field. We have our $10 hopping. And guess what? We've got a little extra there, but there's our quarter pounder again. So we've got our quarter. Now, if any number in the field rolls, you would lose your hot bet. Sorry, the chip flew all over the place. You'd win 35, but look, you cover your hop again and you collect your quarter pounder again. There's that quarter. And if you roll a two or 12, it's just extra sweet. You would win double or some places will even pay you triple. So if you do roll a two or 12, you actually only need to roll it, roll the dice one time. What you're looking for is $50 in winnings. And I'll show you now how that works. So after two hits, you've at least collected $50. If you roll a five, you'll collect more. Two or 12, you're gonna have even more profit. But you're gonna tell the dealer you wanna to go to 44 inside. So you're gonna need a $10 table to play this strategy. So let's pull down our hop and let's collect this. He's gonna take $50, give you six and change, and he could set you up for 44. There we go. And now what have we got? We've got our 100, 150, is that 50? Yeah, 150, 160, 165. That's our initial investment. So we have $11 in profit. We have a $44 bet and we're ready to rock and roll. So after this, you really could do whatever you want. You could, if, if anything hits, you could spread out to the four and 10. You could press these up, a couple more hits and pull down. Really anything you want. The key is you've only rolled the dice twice. Every number is a winner. You've collected your quarters. You'll have $11 in profit and you're ready to go. So pretty good and let's go ahead and check it out again thank you to brian at hawaii crap shooters go ahead and check out his youtube channel i'll put a link down in the description or in the comments and uh, let's go ahead and give this a roll all right i have a 500 dollars bankroll if you're going to bet 165 dollars per shooter i like to have enough for 10 shooters which would be you know 1600 dollars so $500 is pretty short. You're gonna have to have a couple good rollers at the beginning, but you never know. So that's what we're gonna go with, at least for our demonstration and see what happens. Now, I'm not gonna play the line bet, so we're gonna assume that someone else is rolling the dice. If you're rolling the dice, you need a minimum bet on the don't or the pass. All right, let's go, new shooter coming out. 
And let's see what happens here. Here we go, shooter. Six, six is gonna be our point. Let's go ahead and drop the dealer 120. I'm gonna give him 125 and say $60 on the six and eight. So we'll go ahead and get five change and he'll set us up here for $60 each. And then we are going to bet 35 on the field ourselves. That's a self-serve bet. And then ask the stick men, $10 hopping the fives. We've got every number covered and we will win with every roll of the dice at least a quarter. So let's see what happens here. Nine, center field nine. We're gonna lose our hop bet. We're gonna win 35. Let's go ahead and ask the dealer to go back up on the hop and we'll collect our quarter. All right, we just need one more roll. Yo, 11. There we go, another field winner. So we're gonna lose our hop. We'll get paid 35. We'll go ahead and pull our field bet down ourselves, and then we're gonna ask the dealer to take me down to 44 inside. So he'll go ahead and hand you this off, and he'll give you another $6, and then he'll take this and change that for 44 inside. Now we have got our investment back and a little bit of a profit. And we're ready to go. And again, from here at this point, you do whatever you want. You spread out to numbers, you press them up, a couple, couple hits and collect, whatever you want. I might do um, a, an every other press here. So we'll just see what happens or a partial press. Five, there's that five. <clears throat> $10 is gonna pay 14. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the dealer one and get paid 15 for one. Oh, there we go. And you know what, maybe I'll press the five and nine. I don't know, no rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna, gonna see what happens here. I'm hoping for some fives and nine. And no, seven, but that's okay. It's a short roll, what, three, four, four rolls? but it doesn't hurt us. We've already got a profit for the shooter. So we're in good shape. We're happy about that. The puck is gonna come off and we're gonna have a new shooter. All right, let's let the new shooter establish a new point. Here we go, coming out. Four, four hard, four is gonna be the point. Again, we could do 120, 125, however you like to do it. Let's go ahead and break it out. Uh, $60 on the six and eight, and he'll set you up. Oh. And then we're gonna have to bet ourselves in the field, 35, and then ask the stick men to hop the fives for five each. All right, here we go. At least two hits, at least two rolls. Eight, eight hard. All right, we're gonna lose our hop and lose our field. So that's 30, $45 we lose but we're going to win 70. So we'll go ahead and cover the field with our 35. Back up on the hops, please. There's our quarter. Easy, right? All right, here we go. One more roll. Six, six the easy way. Again, our field and our hop is gonna lose, so they'll go ahead and collect that. And they're gonna pay us $70 for our six hitting. At this point, we could tell the dealer, let's go down to 44 inside. Uh, so you'll get all this back and then you'll get the change. He needs 44 out of this. So he's gonna give you another $6 and then he's gonna set you up or her. All right. There we go, 44 inside. And we have our profit again. We're in the profit for the shooter. I mean, it's not much, um, but you're in a great position to have a really big score if the roll can continue. All right, let's see what happens. Six, six, easy, okay. $10 is gonna pay 14. I'm gonna go ahead and ask the player for a dollar and pay out 15 for one. And um, you know what? Maybe we just collect it that time. We can collect and press and maybe alternate. Six, six the hard way. 
12 is going to pay 14. I'm going to let him pay it out and ask him to press it. So we'll go ahead, get the change, and we'll take this up to a $24 bet. Hoping that the six could hit. All right, here we go. Let's keep this roll going. Four, four easy point hit. Doesn't affect us. We don't have a bet on it. But again, we don't have any money at risk. All right, you can turn these bets on if you'd like, but by default, the puck says they're off, so they're off. All right, here we go. Three, three craps. We don't care about that. Still looking for a point. Six the hard way. We should have been working, right? Uh, we missed out. That's okay. All right, the puck is on. Our bets are working. Let's, let's hit that six again. Right back. Eight. Eight easy. We'll take that. Again, it's going to pay 14. And do we press it or... Oh, there we go. Shorten the player. Maybe this time we just... Uh, you know what? I'm going to press it. Be a little more aggressive this time. So we're going to take that bet up to 24 as well. Rack a couple pennies. So we got some great numbers pressed up. So here we go. Nine. My dice rolled there, but it was a nine. All right, 10's gonna pay 14. We're gonna go ahead and ask the dealer for one and pay out 15 for one. So go ahead and rack that up. And uh, yeah, here we go. And seven. Seven out. So we built these up a little bit. We collected a little bit. But again, after the first two rolls, we were always in profit. So we were happy about that. All right, maybe we'll give this one more try. And here we go, coming out. Shooter down at the end of the table, maybe. 10, 10 easy. My dice rolled there, but it was a 10. So we'll mark the 10 and we'll go ahead and give the dealer $120. So we'll just pull it back here just to make it easy. One, 20, let's place the six and eight, please. You got it. And then a field bet is self-service. So $35 in the field and ask the stick man to hop the fives for five each. Here we go. Need two rolls, six, six easy. All right, down comes the hop, down comes the field. You're gonna win $70. So we'll go back in 35, let's hop the fives again. There's our quarter. All right, here we go. We win at least a quarter. Oh, and we're gonna lose a little bit of money here. So there's the seven, that's what we don't wanna see, a point. Well, I guess it was uh, two rolls, so not quite 0.7 out. We lost a little bit there. And uh, yeah, that's what you got to avoid. You got to avoid the early seven. You got to get at least two rolls, but you know, you think you could do it, then this is a great strategy. All right, uh, let's give it a try one more time just because that one went by so quick. Here we go. Seven on the come out. It's front line winner. We don't care because we're not on the line. Get those sevens out of the way, maybe. Another seven. All right, let's, let's really get them out of the way. Five. Five's our new point. Light the five. All right, let's, we gotta dig in a little bit here, find some green in here. One, 20, place the six and eight, please. You got a bet, and we'll do 35 in the field for us, and hop in the fives. You could also place the five for $50, but it's a little cheaper to hop them this way. I mean, obviously you can place all the numbers, but a little cheaper this way. And just because we're only doing it for two rolls, so that's why I'm doing it. All right, here we go. Two rolls is all we need. And, and there you go, it didn't happen. So that is uh, the first two were an example of how it can work out. Potentially, I didn't have long rolls, but I profited. The next two rolls, we lost money. So, you know, if you can't get them two rolls, you got a little bit more invested, $165 a shooter. You got to have the bankroll to withstand that. So, um, yeah, I don't know how lucky these dice are. We saw a lot of sevens with them, but no, I'm just kidding. Thank you, Brian, for the dice. And again, check out his channel. So there you go. The quarter pounder with easy or ease. And, um, you know, you just got to get past them two rolls and then you're in the profit. So hope you liked it. Let me know how you might adjust it or adapt it. And definitely check out Hawaii Crap Shooters channel. Until next time, good luck. 
on coloring up.